going on? It is Steph here from StephJKing.com coming to you from, well, home at the moment, which is in beautiful Brisbane, Australia. And a few weeks ago, I was going through and decluttering all my paperwork. It was a lot to do with, but I got through it. And in that video, I mentioned that I would share with you how I organize all my paperwork. And that is what this video is about. I'm going to share with you exactly what I do to organize my paperwork, how I went digital and all that fun stuff. But first, let's take a seat, let's have a chat and let's talk about firstly, how to actually go paperless and go digital. All right, going digital. How do we do it? First things first, you need to contact all your providers, anyone and everyone who you think will be sending you something in the post and elect to have it sent digitally to your email. It is very easy to do. It might be a little time consuming up front if you haven't done it yet, or some of them do, some of them don't. But once you've done it, it's so much easier. That way you're not getting stuff in the mail and it's just already on your on your Gmail or whatever email account you are using. My second tip is to also get a no junk mail sticker or sign for your letterbox as well. Then that way all the brochures, brochures, vouchers, that's the word I was looking for. All the vouchers and all that kind of stuff isn't going to be going in there as well. And my third tip is when you're walking past someone and they're like handing out flyers or anything like that, just say no in a nice way, of course. Now, if it is information that you do want, whip out your phone, take a photo of that bad boy and you're done. So you don't need to actually take something. Even if the information is valuable to you, you do easily have a phone. Most people have a phone within reach that they can note down the information on or just simply take a photo of it. The next thing you want to do is figure out where you're going to be saving all your now digital paperwork or your scanned paperwork. Make sure it does have a backup function. So I have used Google Drive. I like Google Drive, so I will continue to use that. Or you can use a large hard drive, but make sure that you invest in one that has multiple backup storages, so multiple disks, so that if one or two of your disks fail, it's going to have a backup there anyway, just in case you can never be too careful. I will leave a link or a couple of links below on some that I've known about that are pretty good, or you can just use Google Drive. So I'm down here with my computer now because I now want to share with you how I actually organize the documents. So if for any reason we actually do receive like any hard copy paperwork and sometimes we do sometimes it could be like a parking receipt or maybe we've purchased an item and we wanted to keep that as proof of ownership so what we do is we have a bit of a one touch rule so i have an app on my phone called scanner pro and then what i do is every time i get a receipt i will then take a photo of it in the scanner pro app and then if I'm at home doing it and I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, it will automatically upload to the Scanner Pro folder on my Google Drive automatically. So as long as I'm, a, I'm on my Wi-Fi on my phone and the computer, that will work, which is awesome. If not, you can just simply save and upload it from the app onto wherever you want onto your Google Drive or there's other places that you can save it but that's just what I use. Now if I don't get the opportunity to scan it and upload it straight away there is one place that we have within our house that both I know and Tom knows that if it needs to be scanned it goes there and it's actually in the top section of our scanner so if I open up that scanner and there's paperwork there I know that that is my to-do list I need to actually scan and action those pieces of paper once I actually get that done now to go hundred percent paperless what you may want to do is you just might not want to keep them anymore so once you've saved them into either your Google Drive or a hard drive or your selected place of storage, you might just want to shred them or destroy them. For me, what I like to do, this is just for my, my just in case, I don't know why I do it, but I actually have a folder that we then keep important documents in for a period of 12 months. 
that's just a bit of a safety net for me just in case something happens then that way I know I can go back and have that hard copy piece of paper from that folder for the last 12 months so my final tip for you is that if you do want to take that path I suppose then if you want to keep your documents for a six month period or 12 month period however long before you destroy them what I suggest you do is then block out some time within your calendar so that you have a set period of time that you know that you then organize all your documents so what I like to do is at the beginning of each quarter I will actually go through make sure everything is scanned and uploaded all our spreadsheets are completed because we like to keep record of anything that is for tax purposes and that's all on my Google Drive. I have got a really good filing system set up which I will do another video and share with you exactly how I set up all my files on Google Drive so keep an eye out for that video but other than that uh, I make sure all the files are organized everything's uploaded and scanned I go through my folder and I take out anything from that same quarter but from the previous year I go through it to make sure there's nothing that we need which most of the time we don't and then I just destroy it so then that way I've super organized everything's always on that like good cycle of getting scanned, getting uploaded and saved to its relevant folder within Google Drive. And then I'm making sure that we're constantly going through and getting rid of any of the paperwork that we no longer need after that 12 month period. So I hope that has been useful for you. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, give it a like because that then tells me that you actually did enjoy the video and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.